All right, so we are going to talk about simplifying fractions. And when we think about simplifying, what I want you to think about is dividing to make the number smaller. So that's an important thing to remember. The, if the fractions are going to be equivalent, but the numbers are going to be smaller. So that's really our goal when we are simplifying our fractions. So our first example is 40 sixtieths. And the thing that I want you to think about with 40 and 60 is what is a number that goes into both 40 and 60 evenly? And when I look at these numbers, the first thing that jumps out at me is they both end in zero. So they are both multiples of 10. So I know for sure right now that I can divide this by 10 tenths. And I know that it's equivalent because I'm going to divide by a giant 1. 10 over 10 is really the same as 1. So I'm not changing the value of this fraction. I'm just making my numbers smaller. So if I divide 40 by 10, I get 4. And if I divide 60 by 10, I get 6. And now I'm looking at this fraction, and I see 4 sixths. And I can still simplify this, because there is a number that goes into both 4 and 6. 2 goes into both 4 and 6. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now I have 2 thirds. And the only thing that goes into both 2 and 3 evenly is 1. And if I divide by 1 over 1, that's not going to change anything. So my final answer is 2 thirds. So 40 sixtieths is the same as 2 thirds. Those are equivalent fractions that have been simplified. So let's do another example. Let's take a look at 36 fortieths. So there's a lot of ways you can do this. There's a few numbers that go into both 36 and 40. Um, 4, 2, those both go into it. And since 4 is bigger, I'm going to divide by 4. So I'm going to divide by 4 over 4. And this is my giant 1. If I divide both of these numbers by 4, I'm really dividing by 1. I'm not changing the value. So 36 divided by 4 is 9, and 40 divided by 4 is 10. Now I have 9 tenths. Nothing except for 1 goes into 9 and 10 evenly. They aren't both divisible by the same number anymore. So 9 tenths is my simplified answer. Example number three, we have 12 over 21, 12 21sts. So a number that goes into both 12 and 21, let's see, 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 7 is 21, so 3 over 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, 21 divided by 3 is 7, so 4 7ths. 7 is a prime number. I knew that right away. Um, so the only things that can multiply to make 7 are 1 and 7. So 4 doesn't go into that evenly, so I know that I can't simplify it any further. All right. About, oh, I have one more. There it is. Okay, 12 and 15. So 12 15ths, what goes into both of those? Um, 3 it does, so 3 over 3, keeping my fractions equivalent, 12 divided by 3 is 4, 15 divided by 3 is 5. 4 and 5, the only number that can divide by both of those is 1, so it cannot be simplified any further. <laughs> 